All right, welcome to the March Shade Tree Commission meeting. And uh, it is Monday, March 8th, 2021 at seven o'clock. And in accordance with uh, the governor's executive order 7B, this meeting is being electronically recorded. I am Corey Christians, Weathersfield Tree Warden. I see some of the Shade Tree Commissioners at the meeting tonight, three people, Bruce Graver, um, Alex Graver, and Mark Albert. Thanks for being here. I hereby call the meeting to order. Is there any public comment? Seeing no public comment, moving on to old business. One item in old business um, to approve the February minutes. Any discussion on the February minutes? I think they're all, uh, I looked them over and uh, it, looks, it looks good. And I'll make a motion to approve those uh, February minutes. Thank you. And is there a second? Second. <laughs> um, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say aye. The motion passes. Um, the big item there, obviously, was the removal at 53 State Street, and uh, that that has been removed. Turn it off, please. It needs to be off. Okay. I'm sorry. Moving on from old business to new business. Um, there's one request for removal and I put an ash on here because this lady is kind of freaking out at me about, uh, about not wanting to lose it. And uh, it actually turns out though, she's from California where it seems like Emerald Ashbore has been there in whatever part of California she's from. It, it, I'm talking about the, the directly abutting resident. Um, seems like EAB has been there and she's well aware of it. And, um, and she was hoping to get like another year out of this tree, but she understood that though it would go through the commission sort of as a, as a courtesy, I extended her. Um, it was, it was infested and she, and she recognized that, but she was sort of downplaying the, the amount of infestation and this thing definitely in 2020 had some visible 15 foot upper reaches and just extremities all over. So I, I would be surprised if this tree made it into uh, 2022 alive, but I do expect some sucker growth this year, perhaps. Um, she talked about, oh, just to, just to, just to clearly mention the, uh, the target tree in the recorded meeting, it's, a request to remove one ash tree that's in the right of way at 20 Albert Avenue. And uh, one of the reasons I went after this tree is not only because it's affected, but because, bless you, but because um, the, that neighborhood's getting, that neighborhood's getting repaved and they're gonna actually be able to take the stump in, in association with the paving that's going on, which is really good news. This, uh, this resident, um, is interested in the area being replanted. And I said, after the dust settled from, as, after the dust settles from the uh, um, tree removal, the paving and the associated stump removal, we would probably be able to replant in the fall. So I did wanna, I did wanna make an effort to commit to that. And there's some other trees like uh, north and south of it as well in the same, the same vicinity or the same like relation to the street. Any uh, any discussion on, on this tree? Well, you it needs to be removed, right? Yeah, I mean, I, it's it's a it's a no brainer to me. And I know to us that uh, that this tree is is um, an ash and it needs to be removed because so it's you're saying the lady kind of wants to keep it for a while as long as possible. She kind, of, she kind of begged me to keep it until like for another year or until the fall or something. And I wanted, I want to say yes to people like that, but it's, it's, they're going to be able to do the stump and do the road 
um, the road construction more correctly or with better integrity if this tree is out. Right. It can just get after it. And she complained about the road as well. So, so the thing I'm, to do is to get the tree ahead of time. I'm <laughs> looking at jobs now with ash trees and the people are showing me pictures when the suckers come up. Oh, the tree looks good, but the top right. is dead. Mm, oh, it's yeah. coming back. It's, it's coming back. back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's coming, coming back. back. Right. Yeah. right. So you should go see the one in Rocky Hill we pruned with the crane last year. The oh, guy, yeah. The guy refused to take it down. We took all these tops out down to like a, a 70 foot tree, made it into a 25 foot tree. Wow. And it actually looked decent when we were done, but it was insane. Was it, uh, did you treat it and then perform the pruning? Yep. And it, and it like didn't further decline? It, it, I mean, the whole thing's dead, Corey. The whole thing is now dead. Wow. Well, no, the whole thing was dead. The only thing that was alive were the sprout, the epicormic growth on the trunk. Oh, so it's a stalk. Yeah. Well, a bunch of stalks. It was a big tree. I see. Oh, I see. I see. So it's a bush with a bunch of suckers on it. <laughs> Wow. Well, cool. It'll be a big ash tree. That's, that's going to be a rarity. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That's going to be pretty cool actually. So that's what this is. And that's what I'm, I, I tried not to sell pruning. You just have to take it down. I know. Yeah. Well, I, I'm sure he was clearly communicated with, you know, I just, um, was the, just out of curiosity, was the price for pruning more or less than removal? Was it like the same price for removal? same the same price yeah that's what i would think having the crane there and doing all the tops yeah and then it kind of pushes the the customer to say well if it's the same i guess i might as well take it down but he really right won't. back I brought you the book. Oh, where's the book? My book. I have my book. Welcome to the meeting, Heidi. Hmm. Oh, that's I made it to the top of the basement stairs. Oh, wow. Cool. I'm called DCF. How old, <laughs> how old is she now? She's 15 months. Oh, so she's crawling up the stairs already. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I just got a couple of gates today that we uh, we finally surrendered to a uh, uh, number three. Yeah, well, you're, you know, that's a could be a future tree climber right there. That's right. <laughs> they love their big swing outside. That's for sure. Yeah, I did a, I did some quarter inch uh, EHS on some eye bolts in a tree, and it's it's tall. <laughs> um. Yeah, so she wanted um, she wanted replanting, so I do want to. I'm going to talk to her about that, but I don't know that it needs to be a condition of the motion to remove the tree, but uh, just know that it's it's something I'm I'm going to do for if at all possible, which I'm optimistic. You know, the replanting following following the removal following the the paving. So do we have to make a motion to uh, remove this tree? Yeah, we just haven't gotten there quite yet. So I just oh, wanted okay. to request a motion in a second. Okay. Well, I make a motion to remove the tree. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say aye. Motion passes, thank you. That's it for new business. February work completed is our next item. Is there any questions or comments on that? A lot of snow in February. Yeah. A little, a little bit less tree work. So how many hours did you work on that big storm the on the first? The That's Tuesday, right? That was uh, the Very 12 recently. inches. How many official inches did you get in uh, Weathersfield, did they figure? Inches? Yeah. Oh, I don't have cumulative snow numbers at all. I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, I thought, was it a 12 inch or 14 inch in Weathersfield? The biggest one? 
Yeah, the first one. That's on the first. The first of of February. Right. Uh, yeah, that was the big one. I don't I don't know what it was. Okay. It, yeah, it was like that though. I thought you'd talk about it in, in the in the in the department or something. I, yeah, we do. I just don't remember. They even bet on it and all that. Oh, see, I thought so. <laughs> yeah, there's a pool for pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah that was the that was the big storm and um everything else was kind of a salt operation you know at least at least most of the way um glad to finally get to the lincoln street removals that was kind of something on my radar ever since i started like six years ago the baby got something in her mouth thank you Good eye, Bruce. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Uh, <laughs> the dice wow. is now back. Okay. Thank God it was too big to go down. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe this is being recorded. All right, so I interrupted, but uh, any any comments on the work completed? <laughs> no. All right, motion to adjourn. Second. Oh, you gotta favor. To oh, oh. <laughs> what was that? I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Is there a second? Second. second. All right, Third. thank you, everybody. Good night. Okay. Good night, guys. Good night.